Yeah, you had to really get in shape yeah, for the film. Exactly. Does it really kind of shock you that people are so interested <laughs> more about, you know, your um, diet and fitness tips now than... It is. It is weird. But I, I try never to talk about it. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, we were at the garage last night. There's tons of incredible, amazing cars in the film. Are you a car guy or were you someone who was, like, kind of in awe of all of this on the <laughs> Not really, honestly. I was more in awe at how into it everyone else was. I just couldn't believe these grown men <laughs> drooling over these cars, but but they look beautiful. They they look great in the movie, and and I think that a lot of people like cars, and and I'm then then, then I like cars. <laughs> Honestly, I just go down there to buy a bunch of stuff, and it just makes it hard to buy stuff if I'm constantly taking pictures with people, and that's 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 the only reason. Now, also last night we were at the garage. We saw some of the amazing cars that were featured in the film. Were you are you a big car fanatic? Were you sort of drooling over these while you were in production? No, no, I don't drool over cars. Um, uh, I. I'm, fa you know, if if it, there's one car that I like, you know, and um, I like it for more or less superficial aesthetic reasons because it looks good. I know nothing about, you know, the 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 engine in it uh, or or the the all the technical details. Nor do I care. Um, I do though admire the beauty and even you know someone opened a hood once for me for a, for a, for a '62 Maserati. And I un did understand the fascination, you know, because the, the, it, it speaks for itself. Even I was fascinated and in awe of, of technical beauty of that kind. But beyond that, I'm not a car person. Absolutely. And just last question. This is an action comedy. So as the villain, was it, was it interesting to sort of to have that the comedy element in there? Yeah, yeah, well, and, um, comedy element is always interesting because it's always difficult if you take it seriously. And uh, as as uh, um, a paradox as it sounds, but you know, comedy is a serious business, so you have to, you know, employ as much as you've got. I saw you yesterday. You yeah. haven't had a chance to check out Comic Con yet. Did you get a chance to go down? Yet? Not really. No, no. I was, I was uh, sort of doing this more or less, you know, so far. But um, you know, the street is going wild. Now, if you did go down to the convention center, would you have to wear a disguise? Do you think you'd? I, I considered wearing a Kristoff mask <laughs> because nobody would uh, expect Kristoff under Kristoff mask. Um, but, but um, I don't think so. You know, I mean. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what, what's lurking down there. Right. Tell me, we didn't talk about your character. The Green Hornet is a little more of an average superhero. So tell me a little bit about it. Um, he's the very kind of lazy, uh, irresponsible, uh, wealthy son of a, of, of, a, of a, you know, of a newspaper owner. And uh, when we find him, he kind of has no interest other than really drinking and partying and stuff like that, which I think a lot of people can relate to. And, uh, and he, his father dies, and he kind of realizes that... Uh, you know, despite what his father thought of him, he could actually maybe do something, and 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 with the help of this other guy who hated his father too, together they could maybe become superheroes, which is something they they both always wanted to do. We were contractually ob obligated to not give the character superpowers, <laughs> so no. <laughs> Oh man, that's a good question. The ability to fly or something, because there's a lot of running in the movie, which is not something I enjoy, but it was okay.